everybody, Kevin Mullen here in the Office of Youth and Adult Ministry, Two Minute Tuesday on March 19th. Well, the week is upon us. We've got this big event happening this weekend at Carroll College, our annual Eucharistic Congress. Super excited to see everyone there. Uh, yes, there is still time to register, but please, for my own sake, if you are interested in going and you haven't done so, please register right now. Go to the website. You're sitting in front of a computer on a phone if you're watching this video. So please register. It just helps us so much with uh, not only ordering how much food, uh, but also printing programs, name tags, all that sort of stuff. So yes, please register. We also still have financial aid available if you need that. We don't want uh, finances to keep you from attending this event. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's for all ages. I updated the website with our most recent schedule. There's just a few minor changes. Uh, otherwise, the schedule is going to run as advertised. Um, Friday night, we will start with our high school youth. Really excited about that. The doors will open at 5 o'clock. Plan on being there in your seat by 6.30 when the programming will start. Uh, those who are wanting to check in early, adults and families, if you're around on Friday night, want to skip the line on Saturday morning, please stop by the PE Center on Friday from 5 to 6.30 p.m. We'll get you set up with your name tag and the program and that sort of stuff. And then uh, uh, at 7 o'clock, Dr. John Bergsma, one of our keynotes for the weekend, is also going to be doing a lecture that Friday night at 7 o'clock. It's open to the public, uh, so you're welcome to attend that, especially if you're an adult or college student who's going to be with us on Saturday Go to the Dr. Bergsmas talk, which is being hosted by Carol's Catholic Studies and Theology Departments. Uh, that'll be really great. So anyway, Friday night for high school students, then Dr. Bergsmas talk uh, at 7. Saturday morning, we get kicked off. Doors will open at 8 and plan on being in your seat with programming starting at 9.30 a.m. We will start with Mass with Bishop Vetter at 10, and then we're off and running. We'll have different tracks for each age group. High school youth will have their own programming as well as junior high will have their own, and adults uh, will have their own programming. We'll meet back together on Saturday night. We'll start with a banquet. We'll finish with a keynote with Dr. Bergsma. We will have Eucharistic Adoration, and then we'll have some social opportunities to, to kind of hang out and just be together. The high school youth and junior high youth are welcome to join us for uh, uh, music, games, and dance back in the PE Center. Then I'm really excited to offer our young adults and uh, College students can do a Catholic trivia night hosted by Chica Anwahu, who's one of our keynotes. It's going to be a lot of fun on Saturday night, just a, a great way to socialize and meet other young adults. Finally, on Sunday will be the, the big day. The, the procession that we're going to be doing is going to be just a great time. We will start with breakfast from 7 to 8. We have a final keynote with Chica, and then we will start uh, the Palm Sunday Mass at 9.30 a.m. in the PE Center, which will uh, be followed by a Palm Sunday procession through downtown, uh, downtown Helena from Carroll College to the Cathedral, where we'll close with Mass, wrapping up about 12.30. For those who have high school youth who are interested uh, in attending Carroll College or just want to take a tour, if you're a prospective student looking for a college, please check them out. They are offering a campus visit experience after Mass on Sunday starting at 1 o'clock. Uh, you do have to sign up separately for it, but you get a free lunch out of the deal. So a great way to have a great uh, Eucharistic Congress experience and to also tour Carroll College. All the details and information is online at dioceseshelena.org slash Eucharistic Congress. Of course, reach out to me if you have any questions. Then we are in Holy Week. Looking forward to Triduum and Easter, of course, is next week already. Uh, it's, hard as, uh, it's hard to believe that Lent has already flown by. Just FYI, I will be out of the office for most of Holy Week, and through that following week, I will be uh, at home helping to care for my mom who's going into surgery this weekend. So please pray for her that the surgery goes well. Of course, I'll be checking email and voicemail as often as I can, uh, but I will be out of the office and generally unavailable until April 3rd. Speaking of April 3rd, really excited. They're going to be headed up to Shelby for their annual, uh, or I, I think it's annual. It seems like we've been doing it every year for their youth rally. It's always a lot of fun to get up there. Thanks to Diane Abrahamson and all of the youth ministers and DREs who helped to coordinate that event. It, it's a great time. And by far, they have the best food in the Conrad Deanery. Every time I go to a youth rally up there, they have the best food of any deanery. Uh, and yes, that is a challenge. If you think you 
your food is better, by all means, please, let's coordinate a youth rally in your deanery, and I will gladly come and test out your food and judge who has the best, but would love to get out to other deaneries and help provide uh, some youth rallies and youth events. So if you're interested in that, by all means, reach out. Let's see if we can make that happen. That's really about it for this week. Just a couple of reminders to register and, and get planning for our summer ministry programs. We've got Justice Outreach Project and the National Eucharistic Congress in Indianapolis happening in July. Of course, Legendary Lodge still has a few spots available in some of the camps. And we've got the Radix Adventure Camp, which is formerly known as Legendary Adventure Camp. Uh, it has their signups available now too. Um, so be preparing for your summer ministry. We've got a lot of great things going on. So that's it for this week. As always, please pray for me, pray for our bishop, and to Together we we'll all pray for our young people. God bless.